than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she what? can make it come and go. Hello, right Verbena. What do you have it's for gone me? Now. I checked everywhere. Uh, Still no sign well, of the asset. Do your thing. Can we call I'll off this here. pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Asaram, Zenith, and An Asaram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. She who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. 
Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Then why were the Zeniths still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn Cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was All made, this not stuff. born? Wonder what they were this doing is how. here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. This place keeps on going. We better check in that room.
place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, Zenith, Focus... It's a lot. But when I caught up with him in the dawn, and he got help from Rabbi, everything was in the Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. The control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Miss Fit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. You must succeed, or oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck, and goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh shit, they can fly? Aloy... Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. 
Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Here it comes! I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. <laughs> Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. See what I can do. Uh. Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of the line of fire. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing head on. A heavy weapon. I could use it against the Spectre. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I 
can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. So the old ones painted their faces with something called... Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. <sighs> so, uh, hey, boy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How do they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago, you didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. 
Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but... The only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So you know it was self-destruct Gaia would have action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end they always do what he says. Eric. He's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zenith never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then... Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? 
Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database, before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach. Must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location! Of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing! They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind! We're never going to beat them! Everything! Everyone! I'm gonna die! Hey! Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. I wouldn't tell you the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. So you like hearing me butcher Utaru music? I sure don't. You sound like a dying long leg. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but... I'm trying. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. 
So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. What are you reading next? I saw a guy I added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. The guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Hey, you and Aaron okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot, even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough, but if you need anything, just let me know. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. I 
see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this... Hephaestus, and found out it helped create all machines. Our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Think we could talk f Of course. I've been meaning to ask. You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists when the Karja in they burn those who were to be sacrificed. I was helping the heat. The chorus was dev- Others believed. And while they bi- I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point... to appear before the Chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. 
Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... Not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled... I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. I should get going. May you unearth that which you seek. see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get. 